and welcome to episode four of The Art Social. I hope you really enjoyed last week's video. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, for today, uh, we will be focusing on our last painting of the summer. So um, I had a poll last week or the week before and it was between a lighthouse on a beach or jellyfish in the ocean. And the majority of you chose the light lighthouse on a beach. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. Um, I want to make sure that for the next um, painting that will be happening on September 25th, that you will be checking out the poll I have up for there. Um, if you check just up here in the corner, it'll show you my Facebook page. And in this corner right here, I'm going to put up the poll um, that I have on the Facebook page. You can go check that out and vote to see which which one you want to do next week and we'll see which one wins and it'll be a surprise on Friday. Um, so uh, the next thing I want to do is um, talk about what we're going to be using for today for our lighthouse painting. So as always we start with a canvas so I want you to take out your 8 by 10 canvas. It could be any size really this is the size I'm using today. Okay so that's our 8 by 10 we're going to be focusing on our three famous paintbrushes, large, medium, and small. All right, so these are going to be our paintbrushes that we're using today. We're also gonna be using some acrylic paints and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got um, the other day. I ended up getting my order from Amazon and I got all my paints and I'm really excited because they're so pretty. They got so many, so many different um, choices and color and you got 48 pieces in here. Um, what I want to focus on is um, uh, I picked out six colors. You don't need to pick out six colors. If you feel comfortable blending your colors to get the perfect color, then go for it. If you don't have these paints, that's okay any color of blues, uh, white, black, brown will work. So I'm going to show you what I'm using today. We're going to have our basic black and white. Okay. And I'm going to use for the beach that we're going to do, I'm going to use like a really light sandy brown, almost like a gold. And I'm going to put in some white in there to lighten it up a little bit. And then we're going to focus on the sky, which is going to have, I'm going to mix two, two colors. I want a light and a dark to blend into the sky. And then I'm going to blend in some aqua color uh, with some white for our ocean. Uh, because the ocean is not the same color as our lakes here um, in Ontario, uh, they are actually uh, a very lighter blue, a lot cleaner looking. Um, and that's what we're going to focus on today is this color for the ocean. I'm really excited about that. Okay, um, other than that, I think we can get started today. Um, how about we skip on to the next uh, clip and we'll be able to get started. All right, see you then. Hi everyone. All right, so we're going to start with our colors for the sky. So we're gonna do a beautiful sky in the background at the top here. And we're gonna gradually uh, make an ocean down here. And then we're gonna make the sandy beach here. And then once that's dry, we're gonna focus on our lighthouse. So let's start with the beautiful blue for the sky. So I'm gonna start by using a different method of painting. So usually we use a palette. Um, so something like this here. We use uh, a cardboard or a palette to put our paint on. We're not gonna do that for this step right here. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to put some of this light blue straight from the tube. I want you to go very lightly, just put a couple drops like this here. Just a little bit. You don't need lots, just a little bit. And then with your white, you're going to grab your white and you're going to very graciously put the white here. So just tiny little puddles of white, but I want lots of it. So we're going to go down with our white here because I want it to be much lighter down below. 
and we're already going to have some blue on our paintbrush from up here when we go down. So I want the white to be a little bit more dense over here because I want to do like a cloudy sky. So I'm gonna grab my uh, bigger brush and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start um, just rubbing in the white parts here. So just start with the white. Don't start with the blue yet. I just want some of this white to spread across. Just like that, so that when we go with that blue, it's gonna blend right into that white that you just put into the canvas. So even though the canvas is white, you can't blend blue with a canvas. It's just gonna be blue. So you need to blend white paint with the blue. So once you've done that, I want you to go ahead and do the darker blue spots, just like that. I'm gonna hold on to my canvas here. And then I want you to just start blending it all together, okay? If you find you didn't get enough paint on your brush, you can go back ahead and don't grab that blue because you don't want it to be super dark. You want a really light sky. And you're just gonna put some more white here and there. Okay, so I want you to do that. And then I'm gonna hold onto my canvas because I don't want it to go flying. I didn't tape mine down. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go back and forth like this. And dab in these few spots because I don't want it, I want it to stick into the canvas. There you go. You see how it's more white at the bottom? Once I pick up some of the blue from the top and go back and forth like this, it's gonna go down and mix into the white. So I'm gonna go back and forth again, just like this. There you go. So it looks like a nice, beautiful, cloudy sky. And that's exactly what we want for a beautiful beachy day. All right, so some of that blue tinted into the white down here, that's good. That's what I want. Um, I'm going to actually maybe add just a tiny, tiny bit of blue right there, right there, right there. See, it's not much, I just kind of dabbed it a little bit. So this is another way that you can paint um, instead of using a palette, I really uh, like painting like this. It, uh, it takes some practice, but it works. And that's beautiful right there. Look at that. There you go. Make sure you don't put too, too much paint because it usually takes uh, a little longer if, uh, to dry if you take a really big amount of paint. I really don't want that blue there. Perfect. There you go. Just like that. All right, so once this part is done, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to start the, um, from here down, we're gonna do the ocean, but don't go all the way down because we're gonna do the beach. So I'm going to draw a line, let's see here. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blue that I have just to show you guys what we're gonna do with it. So. Um, this here is where the sky is, and I'm gonna go here and go like this. And from inside here, that's gonna be the ocean, okay? You guys can do this line too if you want. That's up to you. And we'll go from there. So I'm just, sorry, I just gotta check something here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do like a, a, an aqua blue kind of color. Um, in the far back of the ocean and we're gonna go a little bit lighter coming down okay so because the closer you are it's not so shallow when it's sh uh, when it's shallow uh, I mean it's shallow when you get closer so it's really not shallow over there it's deep in the ocean over there so it's dark and then the closer you get to the ocean the closer uh, to the to the shore the closer you get to the shore um, the shallower it gets and the lighter the water gets. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna focus on darker in the back and coming lighter down here, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing as we did for um, the top part over here. And as you see, that, that didn't take very long whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trusty palette and I'm just gonna wipe some of that paint off of my, my paintbrush. 
but I don't need to wash it because we're going to be using some blues and stuff down here. So it's fine if we mix it a little bit. So I'm going to choose uh, an aqua color. You can mix um, green, uh, not green, blue with a little bit of yellow and some whites and mixing those colors is going to help you out in uh, picking a beautiful color for your ocean. So I think I'm going to choose these two colors that I showed you in the beginning video. So I'm gonna use a little bit of dark and I don't wanna to put too, too much, okay? Oh, I put a little much. And here, 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 and then I'm gonna use this beautiful aqua, and it's kinda of like green, but the ocean has like a different tint to it. So I'm mixing these up a little bit. There you go. So I want that darker, color to come out at the back and then we're going to focus on some of that light color coming to the front of the ocean closer to the shore so I'm going to add a little bit of this white over here because I want it to stay a little darker at the top and I want it to start getting lighter as you go lower so as we go lower oh, we're going to have a lot of white paint at the bottom so that it lightens up our green okay all right so it should look something like this once you've done that you can go ahead and you can try and um, maybe add a little bit of light blue to that I think that would look really nice and give it just different hues perfect okay so once that's done we can start blending it all in so what I like to do is I like to start at the bottom part the lighter part of the ocean just because I want there you go I want that beautiful light ocean color to come out right here and then I want it to eventually get darker and darker but if you were to start at the top in the dark you'd be bringing that dark down and I don't want to do that okay so I want this beautiful light Color, as you can see it's just blending all really nicely and I find I've got too much paint on my brush so I'm gonna go ahead and take some off and I'm gonna go back and forth and take that excess off sometimes you're gonna realize that you put a little bit too much paint on that's okay everybody makes mistakes even me fun fact this is the first time that I do the ocean or any kind of water really. I always used to think that water was really hard to do, but to be honest, as long as you try, you're golden. Okay, so I'm getting into the darker part. So I'm gonna do this. Beautiful. Now it looks like the back of the ocean, nice and dark with that dark blue, perfect. Take the excess off. There you go. And come on down. Once you've blended that top part, you can come down as much as you need to. You can wipe your your brush. Make sure that there's not too too much. There we go. I don't want to dab here because it's not. There you go. Perfect. So here I am finishing the bottom part of the ocean. Now, um, later on in the video, you're going to see that we're going to add some more details to the ocean, um, but we don't want to do that right yet because the ocean is still, the background on the ocean is still wet. So we don't want to do that right there. So um, next, things, uh, next thing on the list is going to be the sand. So I'm going to take out some of my... Um, what is it called? Yellow ochre, but it's like a golden brown and I think that would look really nice for a beachy color, but I don't want to put too much because I want to lighten it up with some white. So the rest of the white on your canvas is going to be dabbed in some brown and some white. And at this point you should probably go and wash your brush. 
to get this part going because we don't want to mix the blue in the brown, okay? So what I'm going to do is instead of washing my brush, I'm just going to switch my brush just so that we can continue on with the video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a second brush, which I have right here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly move back and forth like this. No need to blend the lighter colors first. Uh, this is just going to do a really nice choppy kind of sandy mound on your canvas and it's going to blend nicely and if you happen to not have enough I recommend you go in with some of the white because you don't want to make it too dark. So I ran out of some right here um, so I'm going to use some of my white. Okay, So I'm going to go with my white and I'm going to add where I need some. So at the bottom down here, you'll notice that I, I kind of have some spots that don't have any paint. And up here, I'm going to add the white. Just like that. Okay? Because in the middle, I have a lot of paint. So I'm good there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of give it a little, a little dab in the spots that it needs it. Uh, just right here. And then back and forth like this. So up here, give the ocean. Just like that. Perfect. We can go back and forth now. As you can see, I've got some light brown. I've got some yellowish tones. Um, all that's coming together in my painting. And it's okay that I have a, a little part right here that it, it crossed over because I'm going to do something later on with that. So that's fine. Okay. So that's it for this part. Once you're done with the sand, the ocean, the sky, uh, you're noticing that um, it's quite a different contrasting color. Contrast means it's a very different color than the next one. So as you can see, it's very light and then it gets very dark here and then it gets completely different color here. Okay, so once we're done with this and it's fully, fully, fully dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the lighthouse, okay? So make sure it's really nice and dry. I don't want you to um, wait 10 minutes, come back to it, touch it, and it's like, ah, it's a little wet, that's fine. No, I want you to completely wait till it's dry because your next part um, is gonna smudge on your colors if, um, if you don't let it dry completely. All right, so I'm going to let this dry and we're going to come back to the video when we, um, in about a half hour or so, I'm going to wait and I'm going to come and check and see if it's dry. If it's not dry, I'll wait a little bit longer and we'll go from there. All right, we're back. My painting is dry and now I want to show you the next step that we're going to do. So I'm not quite sure if you can see uh, my painting. But I have two strips of paint, paint uh, not paint, tape going down this way. Uh, I would have preferred to use masking tape, but I realized I didn't have any. So I used myself some packing tape. It doesn't matter what kind of tape you use, but um, I do think masking tape does stick better to a canvas. And this is why I wanted you to make sure that your paint was dry before we put any kind of tape on it. So I have a piece of tape going this way. And I have a piece of tape going this way. So it's smaller at the top and it goes wider at the bottom. This is going to be our um, lighthouse. So what I want to do for the lighthouse is I want to kind of do a white and black stripe going all the way down of the lighthouse. Okay. So that's what we're going to start with. And I'm going to have it going to all the way about here. And then we're going to do the light that goes to the top of the lighthouse. Okay. So I have my trusty palette, piece of cardboard, <laughs> and I'm going to start with white. I'm going to dab my white paintbrush and I'm going to very slightly do the top one white like this. And because I have um, tape on each side, you can go on the tape 
and that'll be fine just like that okay so I'm gonna try and go with a thicker amount of paint just to make it uh, nice and thick so you don't see the blue in the background perfect now I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm gonna space it out and do another one right here because we're gonna do black in the middle there so just like that remember you've got the tape on each side so it's fine when we take the tape off you're gonna notice it's gonna be nice straight lines don't be afraid to put a, a good amount of uh, paint on your brush because you want to cover that blue. Okay, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do some here. Just like that. There you go. And in between these whites is going to be black, so don't worry about me missing those spaces right now okay Want a little bit more white here because I could see the blue and then we're gonna do one more white down below at the bottom so just like that and you can see I'm doing it kind of like on an angle I'm not going straight uh, that's because I wanted to look kind of like a spiral going down the the uh, the lighthouse so right here like that I'm making sure I go back over with a another layer of paint there you go perfect I still see kind of the blue up here so I'm gonna go over top like that I'm gonna go up here and do this one up here just make sure you put enough well, not too much where it's going to start dripping down your canvas. Uh, you just want to put enough so that you don't quite see the blue on your side because the lighthouse is not see-through. And like that. Perfect. All right. So now that I'm done that white, I'm going to go and I have another brush here to dip in the black, but you can go wash your brush and then come back and do the black. Um, if you do that, just pause the video here, go wash your brush and come back for the black. So that's what I'm doing next is the black. I'm going to go ahead and because my painting is dry, I can put my hand on it and I'm going to go like this in between. Remember your, uh, your, um, uh, tape is making it safe to go past the lines like this that's fine because then we're gonna remove the tape and your lines are gonna be nice and straight so I'm gonna do my next spot and go in the middle and then work my way very gently to the edge just enough you don't want to really blend those colors in the black and white because then you're gonna end up with gray and I don't want a gray lighthouse I want a beautiful black and white lighthouse just like that I'm gonna dip again. I'm gonna do my last part down here. Perfect. Now, patience is key, guys. You gotta remember that the faster you go, the more you can mess up. So if you want it nicely done, take your time. Think of how you wanna do it. Make sure you got your right colors. Make sure you got everything good to go. There you go, just like that. And I'm missing a spot right here. Yeah, patience is key. You want your stuff to look really nice. You want to take time doing it. You don't rush through. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. So now I want to show you guys this wonderful trick of pulling off the tape. So I want you to see what beautiful lines we're going to have. And I'm sorry that my tape is clear. It's kind of hard to see, but... Um, you're gonna, if you have some masking tape, it's a lot easier. So then I'm gonna very, very gently, you don't wanna do this very fast because the paint's gonna smudge. Very gently. Okay. If you need a parent to help you with this part, there's no shame. Just wanna make this real nice. Nice and straight. Perfect. So 
So I'm going to get rid of this piece of tape. And my hands are full of paint, as you can see. It's all wet, so I'm going to go like this. This is my trick. And then it's, it's not wet no more. It's stuck on your hands. Until you go wash your hands, this will be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the second um, piece of tape here very gently. Perfect. And I'm going to close this up and throw that out <coughs> and wipe my hands again. Awesome. Okay, so what I want to do next is uh, before we do the white caps in the ocean, I want to finish off the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very, very, very softly um, use some white on a medium brush. You don't want a very big brush and you don't want to put lots of paint, just a little bit. And you're going to go up here and I'm going to very lightly spin it into a circle and make a tiny little circle for the light. This is going to be the big light bulb inside of the, uh, of the lighthouse at the top where at night it flashes in circles and lets the boats know that the, the shore is nearby. There you go. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. There you go. All right, let that dry. That'll be good to go. You can use the same brush. I'm just going to uh, remove the excess off of it. And then I'm going to use the black and I'm going to do the top part here. I'm just gonna give it a little edge at the top. Just like that, very slightly. So I'm gonna kind of go over the edge here, over the edge here, just because it has like that, that top part that holds it all in. Perfect. Now I'm going to rub the excess off and I'm gonna go back and dip very, very, very lightly on my brush because I don't want too, too much, okay? And then from here, I'm going to make a cage around the white light bulb like this there you go I didn't even have to dip back in now I go back again and I'm gonna do this part of the cage there you go and the top part And I'm gonna finish it off with like a little a little hat on the lighthouse. It's gonna be like this, and I'm I'm gonna give it a little bit of a round edge. So up and just twist your brush and it should make a circle. So I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on my brush and fill that in. So I'm gonna spin my brush just like this. Spin. Make sure you fill that in. Perfect. All right, once you're done this part, we're going to grab a very small paintbrush and I want you to get ready to do the details in the ocean and some birds. So we're gonna start with the detail in the ocean and go with the birds after that. Um, oh, I forgot about the um, the windows inside of your lighthouse. Some people like to put windows in the lighthouse. I don't want to do that. I wanted to mention to you guys, you can put a little square. Once this is all dry, you can go and you can put a little black square here and a black square here, maybe one at the top here, um, just so that it looks like windows looking out on the ocean. Um, but I'm going to keep mine like this and you guys can add it in if you want to. Um, make sure you finish up this little cage at the top for this wonderful light that's standing there. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do the ocean and the birds. So I, I have my black right now and I have this flat brush right now. So I might as well use this for the, um, the birds. So go very, very, very lightly like you did for the cage. You wanna make little lines and you wanna make 
kind of a, um, a little wing going like this. And another one going like this. Just like that. And do it again. Just a little dab. And I want another bird over here. Just like that. And I want a very tiny one. So I'm going to grab the corner of my brush and put it in here. And I'm going to ever so slightly do a very tiny bird back here. And it'll look like there's a bird out in the back. I'm going to do another one here. There you go. So there's some birds in the background. All right. So I'm going to take another paintbrush, a very tiny paintbrush. Um, I have a small detail brush uh, like this one here. It's got three little spots in there. Um, you don't need a brush like this. Uh, you could use just a very tiny brush. Anything that has very little amount of bristles because you want to be able to make very tiny little details. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dip this into our white. You don't need too, too much. And we're going to go in the distance and we're going to... Don't make a straight line. Make it like choppy like this. And kind of shake around your hand like that. And I'm going to do that again in another spot. Uh, so I'm going to go like this. So I'm going to go up a little bit. I'm going to go down. There you go. All right. And I'm going to go and I'm going to do one over here. Just like that. I also want to put some on the other side of my uh, my lighthouse, but remember this is still wet, so you want to be careful. So I'm going to very, very gently reach out to the other side. Like that. Okay. And I'll make another one here, very small. Maybe another one that goes out this way. I want to have some waves kind of crashing onto the shore. There, like that. And we have a little bit here. Here on this shore. Oh, I'm going to put some here. Maybe one more right in this corner over here. There you go. So we've got some nice little white cap waves in the background. Okay? Perfect. So here it is. We've got our beautiful lighthouse painting on the beach. And you did it. Um, we basically did a beautiful sky. We focused on an ocean which had different greens and blues in it. And we also um, did like a golden sandy beach. And uh, like I said, you can add some windows up in there. I'm going to very quickly actually um, take my brush that was doing the white caps and I'm going to dab a little bit my black because I think that I need a little bit of, um, uh, like grass at the bottom, but it's going to be kind of silhouette. So it's going to be black. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to do that here like that. Make sure you got a very tiny brush and you can do a lot of grass going up like that. And I'm going to darken it up at the bottom down like that. So you can get creative. You can do whatever you want. It's your painting. You can add some windows. You can add a boat in the ocean. Uh, just remember, if you're doing a boat in the ocean, you want to make it, if you do it far back over here, you want to make it small so it looks like it's really far. And if you want a boat over here, you got to make it bigger so that it looks like it's really close to the ocean. So I'm going to get a little bit more grass going up this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. You go at the bottom and you flick forward. You flick up. Okay, so I finished up the grass at the bottom, as you can see. Um, so that's your choice. You can add some grass. You can add some windows. Um, you can add the birds. You can add some more white caps. You can add a boat. Um, it's all your decision from here. So. 
I really hope you enjoyed that. I had lots of fun doing an ocean for the first time. That was very interesting. And uh, I will see you at the end clip. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. This was an uh, extremely good learning experience for me because I had never um, painted water before. Uh, painting water was extremely, ex uh, extremely intimidating for me. Uh, it scared me, uh, but hey, I tried it today. Um, I tried it in the past, but it kept giving up. And you know what? Don't give up because I did it today and it looks wonderful. I'm super, super proud of myself. I hope you are too. Just remember, as long as you keep trying and going for it and not giving up, you're gonna get there one day, okay? It takes patience, it takes practice. That's why it took me so long to do water. This is the first time I do water. It's fantastic, it's phenomenal, I'm super excited. So thank you very much for doing this with me today. I just want you guys to know um, in the comment section on YouTube, you can post your pictures of the results. Um, I say the results, but your end masterpiece. This beautiful thing right there in the comments. I want to see what you guys have done. Do that for all the videos. Post what you've done. I've seen some, um, some of your parents and some of the parents themselves sending me pictures and uh, videos of their children doing this, of you guys doing this. It's a fun learning experience. It's amazing and everybody gets to do it. It just, the fun never ends. So I'm really, really happy you guys got to do this with me today. Don't forget to post a picture in my comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget, stay creative. Bye guys.